Rosa Parks, My Story, How It All Started, by Rosa Parks with Jim Haskins. One of my earliest memories of childhood is hearing my family talk about the remarkable time that a white man treated me like a regular little girl, not a little black girl. It was right after World War I, around 1919. I was five or six years old. Moses Hudson, the owner of the plantation next to our land in Pine Level, Alabama, came out from the city of Montgomery to visit and stopped by the house. Moses Hudson had his son-in-law with him, a soldier from the north. They stopped in to visit my family. We Southerners called all Northerners Yankees in those days. The Yankee soldier patted me on the head and said I was such a cute little girl. Later that evening, my family talked about how the Yankee soldier had treated me like I was just another little girl, not a little black girl. In those days in the South, white people didn't treat little black children the same way as little white children. And old Mose Hudson was very uncomfortable about the way the Yankee soldier treated me. Grandfather said he saw old Mose Hudson's face turn red as a coal of fire. Grandfather laughed and laughed.